Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Surviving Mars. Now the game is, I just played through the tutorial and it's pretty much what it sounds like. It's about trying to build a colony on Mars and make it sustainable and prevent people from dying. And I thought we'd give this a go, see where, where, uh, how it works and and, uh, and what it is. And we're just starting up a brand new game here. You can set a ton of, I'm probably not going to change a lot here for the first playthrough. Um, but you can change a lot like what like education do your commander have and who is sponsoring your mission i guess that depends on how easy the how easy it is oh yeah look at that the difficulty challenge goes up here um all kinds of stuff okay so here we are this is the zone that we have chosen um and it seems like we are in this sector and this is the area around us we can see we're nice and we're kind of like a little saved from the mountains here that is scanned. How do we... Oh, we zoom in on this. Okay, so here we have... We have oh, this is nice. We both have some um, some soil here where we can extract some concrete. We have some resources here. We have more resources in this in the mountain area down here. And we have some uh, some water deposits here. So we're going to put down our... Um, we're going to put down our rocket somewhere, I guess. And uh, we're going to place that, like... Oh, uh, I guess that up here. here. So it's not in the way. Let's put that there. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. All kinds of... Oh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> and we have all these small... These are so cute. Look at those. All the small worker robots. There's no humans with us at this time because we don't have a base that can sustain, um, that can sustain human uh, human population right now. We'll have to build that up before we uh, we call in all the humans. Does this have a lot of materials for us? It does have some materials. Okay, I guess what we should do is uh, build. Let's start by emptying out the rocket. I guess that's a good place to start, right? So we're gonna go in and we're gonna build ourselves a universal deposit. Right here next to the rocket. And I guess they're now gonna... Yeah, look at that. We'll speed up time now. I guess they're gonna go in. They're gonna pick up the materials and store them in the universal deposit. So now we have a place to store our stuff. Let's build another deposit for... What should we build a deposit for? No, this is not deposit. This is storage. Um, dumping site. Don't need a dumping site right now. Okay. Let's just uh, empty that out and let's begin to... I guess we need to begin to build... We need some power and we need to build some uh, some buildings that can like begin to extract some concrete for us because we'll need that for our buildings. So, uh, concrete, how do we do that? Uh, that is a production, I guess. Concrete extractor, yes. And uh, we can place that like there. There we go. And now the robot will begin to build. And they will automatically begin to ooh, even to, to pull out the raw resources they need to uh, to build our concrete extractor. Okay. But we will also need some power. And I guess... Um, should we do a little bit of planning here? We have a lot of resources in this area here. So I guess I will try to, when I begin to build, like uh, keep this as an industrial area. And then when we begin to get humans, we can move down in this area here, I guess. So... I resources think resources are low. Resources are low. Okay, that's that's not good. Already, that was quick. So I think we should start by building some kind of power source, so we can begin to see this one needs electricity. So we're gonna build some power, and we're gonna start, I guess, by building. I have to think here, because we need to have an accumulator first. I think so. We have somewhere to store our energy because we're not gonna be able to have constant energy all the time. So I'm just gonna lay out like the basics of my uh, of my power generating area here. There we go. Okay, so I lay out the basics of it, and I put up a um, a solar cell, but we can't really build that accumulator because we need the concrete. So right now our concrete extractor is running here and it's beginning to extract concrete. Um, but I think this thing needs a dump site, if I recall correctly. So we'll need to have a 
uh, a dump site which we'll have to build like I guess here just so it has somewhere to dump the material that it's like this it will produce some spare rocks you can see there is beginning to dump basic rocks here that we're not gonna need right now so it's gonna be dumped there for now and we're also gonna build ourselves a wind turbine like so and we have an accumulator. That means that now if we have either solar power or wind power, it's going to put power into Research our accumulator. Complete. And then even if none of those are working, we should be able to keep this thing running. And of course, I have made room so we can expand this up in this general area here. Um, and especially when we move the rocket, that should be good. So, I don't know what the next step actually is. Um, I think next up, we'll build ourselves a drone hub. Now, you can see this pretty much covers a huge area. We want this to be able to cover pretty much everything, so all the way down to, to our resources here, and we want to also be able to cover this area. This is the area that the drones, the small like uh, things we have driving around, will be able to cover. So let's put this here, right and nice in what's going to be the center, hopefully. And once we connect this to the power grid, these small patches on the side will allow us to recharge our drones, because they will run out of battery. You can see this is already at half power. Um, so we'll need to... Um, no, not that you. We'll need to go in and go to electricity, and we'll need to go and we'll connect this up uh, to our power grid, and the drones will begin to uh, to build that. I guess next step would be to build a water extractor. Um, require water deposits. So let's put down a water extractor. Let's rotate this so that the piping, so this one kind of goes over this area. Um, let's put this down here. Uh, okay, so now that is done, we also put down a, uh, let's put that down in, let's see where this is going to go, let's put this in here, and this is going to be our water tower, and we should then be able to connect this, yeah, connect like that to that, something like that, so once the water tower is complete, and all the pipes are complete, and it will then begin to store the water tower again with anything like this when you have something that has a variable input like in case we lose power or something we will not run out of, of water immediately because we have something to spare in our um, in our water tower we will need to connect that water extractor to the power grid again okay and we got some water waters being pumped i guess yes yes we're slowly filling up our water tanks here so that's good and um, next up we need to build some... Was that a meteor strike? Oh, that was close. I guess we need to build ourselves some oxygen as well. So we can begin supporting... Oh, see that one. It's went in for repairs or for, for recharge. <laughs> That's an aggressive recharge though. Okay. Um, it did say, oh, we're low on power, see? Electricity is low. So we're gonna expand our... Um, our power grid. But luckily we did... Whoops. We did plan for that. So we're going to expand with another solar panel, another large solar panel, and we're also going to expand with another wind turbine. Uh, let's put that in like so. And I guess now that we are at it, I am going to, um, to add another uh, of these accumulators so that we have uh, more place to store our electricity. Because we're not even filling this one up, so it shouldn't be a problem yet. But we really don't want to... Oh, look at that. So we've had this for a while. So now this is being covered in dust. And this one is brand new. And shiny. You can also kind of see the change. This one has changed color as well because it's been in use. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's well done. Well done. I love that. Research complete. Let me research something. Okay. So, I guess we're going to continue. We're gonna, we were building oxygen, right? So, life support. We have a... Yeah, produces oxygen. No production doing dust storms. And this could go, I guess, anywhere? So, let's put it somewhere. So, this is all, like... I guess this, like, blackish area here is all where the water is. Um, so let's put this somewhere where it's not in the way. Let's make a oxygen area over here. Okay, so here's the problem. You can see here in the refinery that we need some 
prefabs, whatever that is. I I don't know what that uh, that is that is it. No research. No. Okay. Anyway, we need those, and we can either get those shipped to us from Earth. But problem is, we already have one rocket stored here, so I'm not too keen on having a second rocket, even though I'm being the the game suggested I do that. But it says that we can also build it here, but we need to research the low G uh, hydrosynthesis. So if we head into the science tab here, there's tons of stuff that you can, can research here. And we don't even have access to half of it. Um, but luckily we do have access to research um, low G hydrosynthesis. So we're going to do that. I'm going to put that in there. And then the research... Oh yeah, here we go. So research is now doing its thing, I guess. So we'll research that, and uh, then hopefully we'll be we'll be able to uh, to build that. So we can build some rocket fuel and get this thing sent back to Earth because they only carry fuel for one trip, which is a bit of an issue, I guess. But look at that; they're getting dusted. It's really cool. Ah, okay, okay. So, okay, so this one, we get two new factories. We get the polymer factory, which takes polymers and fuel and then produces, well, polymers. And we also get a fuel refinery, which takes water and build fuel. Okay, so now we should... If we can get out of here. Now we should be able to build that... Okay, you go there. Good. Now we should be able to build that fuel refinery. Yes. No cables connected. Okay, so I want to keep this area clear in case we need more of these concrete thingies. Um, we have the drone station here, so let's just... We have water coming from down here, so let's put this in, like, here, I guess. To be our fuel refinery. And we're going to have to connect that to the power grid. It's just going to continue this line here, put that there, and then there. And we will also need it to be connected to the uh, water tower. And I'm gonna still gonna keep this area clear in case I want to have more more concrete thingies or concrete extractors. So I'm gonna go like so. Okay. So now the robot should begin. Oh, am I the game paused? Yeah, the game is paused. Okay, there we go. So now they should begin to build. Our new fuel refinery. Okay, so now the fuel is being produced, I guess. Or no, maybe? Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. He got a fuel tank. Which is carrying into the rocket. Okay, so we're refueling the rocket now. So we can send that thing back to Earth. Beautiful. Now, I did notice here during the daytime... While we have the solar panels active. Oh, they're dirty. Can we clean this? Okay. My point was, look at that. We're really underpowered right now. We are really using a lot of power here during the nighttime. Because we only have the wind turbines running. And then during the daytime, now when the sun comes up, we begin producing electricity. But during daytime, we can just barely keep us uh, at zero. That means we're leaking at night. We're not producing in daytime. So we need to, once again, expand our... Um, once again, we need to expand our our um, power production, so we're gonna go, go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna build another set of uh, of turbines. We will see what happens. Return to Earth. Milestone achieved. Oh yeah. Okay. So we did manage to break a few of the small robots, but they're quickly getting repaired, so that's okay. So now that we've got that thing out of the way, um, let's go ahead and let's continue connecting that there to the power grid. So now you can see here the solar panels are not active. Oh, they can piggyback off each other. That is nice. Didn't know they could do that. Okay, anyway. But you can see here now during daytime we produce plenty of power. All our capacitors here are full. Which probably means we'll need to build more auto capacitors. Uh, accumulators are full. So we'll probably build a few more accumulators. Um, I'll actually, you know what? build a few here. Like so. Just so that we make sure that we have enough power to survive, um, Research complete. To survive the night in case something happens and, and we don't get that much fuel. Or that much uh, power. 
Perfect. So now we can see here during night time, we're now underproducing water because we're producing fuel. Uh oh. Now we're in trouble. These will need maintenance. Resources are low. Uh oh, but we have no mechanical parts. So we're out of mechanical parts. And we're low on we can build polymers. Um but with no mechanical parts, we can't get these up and running again. And uh, that's going to be an issue, I think. So, I guess now would be a good time to order a resupply rocket from Earth. If I can remember how we do that. Oh, we got a ship pot, whatever that is. No, let's get a cargo rocket. We can get more drones. We have plenty of drones already. We can get these transport vehicles. We don't need that. Well, how much do we have? We have... Uh, oh, we have like 26 billion. That should be plenty. Uh, we have concrete, metals, food. We can build that as soon as we get the pot up and running. But we'll probably want some polymers. We can see here that, that the cargo capacity goes down as we increase this. Um, so let's take 50 of those and let's get some mechanical parts too. And we can now see here we have a flight in progress with all our lovely, lovely new materials. And then we can stop that somewhere. And... Uh, but anyway, I think I'm going to call the, the video here, the next video, hopefully. Um, we're going to continue expanding our base and hopefully we can build a dome and begin to get some humans in here. So we can get these, um, uh, this colony actually working because right now it's pretty much only being populated by robots. And, uh, but yeah, humans are, are, uh, humans are difficult. They need all kinds of ignoring stuff like oxygen and food and air. And you can't just put them on a like recharging pad for them for them to uh, to recharge up again. They actually need all this annoying stuff. So we'll have to look into that. But that will be in the next video. If you like this video, go down, give a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.